Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm going to be doing another video today on the subject of uh, subtitling. I've done a couple of videos this week about using Caden Live to generate subtitles. I did a video explaining how you can use Caden Live to create a sub, create your subtitles, but not actually render those out on the video. You can just export the subtitle file as an SRT and upload that to YouTube. That was one video. Another video I did was um, how to take auto-generated YouTube subtitles, work the other way, download those to your local operating system, edit the subtitle files, put them online again, or you can edit them directly in YouTube Studio. But another uh, use case that I was doing earlier in the week or looking at was adding subtitles in Hebrew uh, to videos. Now, for those who haven't uh, heard me mention this on this YouTube channel, I live in Hebrew, I, li I live in Israel, Hence, Hebrew is uh, one of the uh, languages that are very relevant to me. But of course, Hebrew is only one of several languages that are written uh, from right to left, also called RTL. And in fact, the neighboring language here of Arabic has many, many more speakers. So although this uh, video is specifically about adding subtitles in Hebrew, I hope it will be relevant and perhaps of interest for uh, more people than just Hebrew speakers. So um, in order to do that, let's jump over firstly into Caden Live. Now I've just created a uh, really, really simple script here. I'm gonna drag it across so you guys can see. My name is Daniel, I am, sorry, hello. My name is Daniel, I am 33 years old. I live in Jerusalem and tomorrow I am going to the beach. So uh, not a super complex little uh, bit of dialogue here. And this is, of course, just for demo purposes. So the first thing, I'm going to just jump to where it says, hello, my timeline. Uh, I just can put myself down so you guys can see. You can even tell from the timeline, hello, uh, what did I say? My name is Daniel, uh, 33, live in Jerusalem, and tomorrow I go to the beach. So I can actually just see, based on the uh, waveforms visible in the audio layer, uh, what, exact, what exactly I say at each point. So there is a shortcut, I'm just gonna be a bit stupid about it and um, just do the menu option. Subtitles is under project, add a subtitle is one of the options there. So hello is, e is easy, it's shalom. Now, look what's happened in the subtitle editor on the bottom right. Shalom in Hebrew has appeared, but we have some better news. It's appeared offset to the right. So as soon as I change my keyboard layout over to the Hebrew, it automatically inherited the RTL uh, text format. So it's one of those things that just works out of the box, which is uh, not always the case in Ubuntu especially. So that was one word. Now let's just see how that renders on the video. You can see my um, video here where in the top, in the right hand side of the screen, that's my uh, timeline preview. And Shalom looks pretty good. It's uh, right there in the center of the screen. Um, it's, you know, visible, whatever, it, it looks fine. So let's try uh, the second um, second phrase here. So we're gonna go again for project, subtitles, and add subtitle. And this one I said, my name is Daniel. So I'm gonna go a bit colloquial. Corim uh, Lee Daniel, okay? I could also say Shmi Daniel, but Corim Lee Daniel is is what people would actually say. Now, I've just added it. You can either type here or you can type in the subtitle window in the window. And this is actually a better result because this is not just uh, one word, like Shalom, this is three words, but they've been laid out automatically right to left. Korim uh, Lee Daniel, and I can even put a full stop if I change back to English for a moment. Full stop here, and it's uh, it's been added to that track. So I'm not gonna do um, the rest, I'll do the rest of this by myself, I'll unpause the video, and then I'll upload this to YouTube, and then we can see how that looks. All right, so I've just rendered this video, uh, this uh, 13 second test video, and I've exported it to YouTube. It's still coming up to uh, full resolution, but just take a look firstly at the um, subtitles as they rendered out here within YouTube. I'm gonna just move it a little bit down so you guys can see it hopefully. Korimli Daniel, so it rendered out from uh, YouTube just fine. In fact, when I added that uh, full stop in English, which was a mistake I made, it did come at the end, but otherwise the layout of the Ani Ben Shloshim Vashalosh, Ani Gar Biyurushalayim, Umachar Ani Cholech Liam. So all the Hebrew, 
subtitles rendered in the video just fine right to left now that was the main thing i wanted to show but let's also just take a look at adding subtitles um in youtube editor so um as usual we want to jump down into subtitles now the automatic english subtitles are going to populate just based on my default settings and what i want to do now is click on to add language and then i'm going to click into hebrew and now you can also add, this is a feature that some folks don't know about. Um, you can actually add uh, different title and descriptions for various languages. So I can actually give this clip a little uh, title and description in Hebrew and in Greek and in Portuguese, so on and so forth. But I'm not going to do that. I just want to show, keep it simple for this video, how to add subtitles. Click on add subtitles. And then for this one, I'm just going to go for type manually because it's so short. So uh, we said that was Shalom. Now this is just to show you guys, when I started typing in Hebrew, it hasn't actually laid out, detected the uh, RTL layout as well as we did in Caden Live. So what I uh, do is if you right click on the mouse and I'm using Google Chrome here, there is writing direction and it's by default, it's going to be left to right and just change that over to right to left. And that's just going to make the text layout uh, nicely. So let's just do one more because again, I don't want to go through titling this whole thing again. Oops. So you can see the same thing has, uh, has happened. So I'm just going to go for right to left and we can see that it, um, it's laid out nicely. So I'm going to click on a uh, publish now to publish those subtitles. I'm going to click into the view on YouTube button. It's going to populate the video. And uh, now I'm going to turn on my YouTube subtitles by clicking on the uh, settings button going over to, and again, sometimes there's a little bit of a lag, so I'm gonna need to refresh here. And now we can see our uh, Hebrew subtitles. And again, they're matching. So it's the YouTube subtitles you're seeing on the top, Shalom here. I can toggle them off and toggle them on. And the ones below are the ones that rendered on the video layer through Caden Live. and so on and so forth. So basically you can add subtitles in Hebrew um, or other RTL languages just fine uh, using Caden Live. And as I explained in the last video, even adding subtitles, you don't need to actually render them out onto the video. You can just, cho you can just choose to store your subtitles in Caden Live, export them as SRT file, and add that to YouTube. Alternatively, if you prefer to work within YouTube Studio, you can actually add subtitles there in Hebrew. You just need to make sure that after you change your keyboard, your keyboard uh, over to the Hebrew layout, if stuff is not laying out correctly, right click on the mouse if you're in Chrome, and then make sure that the uh, writing direction is configured as right to left RTL. And then everything should lay out nicely and you can add also a title or a description in other languages, including those that are written from right to left as opposed to left to right in English. Hope this video is useful. If you want to get more videos from me about YouTube technology and other subjects, please do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.